Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here. And today I'm going to be showcasing a new wine benchmark where we will be using wine 1.7.10 with the CSMT patch versus native Windows performance using Street Fighter 4 benchmark. So the settings as we can see here, everything is maxed out with the exception that anti-aliasing is off and vSync is disabled on both systems. We do this so we can see the frames per second soar as high as they possibly can. So on the right side we have Windows and on the left side we have Ubuntu with the Wine in Play on Linux. Now for the first couple of tests you will see that the Windows side will finish it first because it is able to run at higher frames per second. What we're looking for in this video is to see how big that difference is or how small it is with the latest CSMT patch. This is not the latest Wine but it is the latest Wine with the CSMT patch available in Play on Linux. Hopefully future versions will provide better performance. So we're starting off with 400 plus, almost 500 frames per second on the Windows side with Ubuntu and Wine idling anywhere from 300 to 350 just now. The second fight, as you can see just now, the Windows side finishes first because it is variable frame rates. It's allowing it to run as fast as it possibly can. On the Ubuntu side, we saw it drop below 300 to 260 while Windows side dropped down to 400. Both sides lost quite a bit of frames per second in that scene just now. So playability, it is runnable on both systems. However, performance wise, Windows is still quite far ahead compared to the current iteration of Wine. 400 frames per second versus 240, 250. Oh, it jumped up to 300 just now for a moment. So this is the last test where we have high poly models on both sides and it is pretty visibly clear that Windows has, has about twice as much frame rates, uh, twice as much frames per second compared to Wine 1.7.10 with CSMT. So at the end of this we will see the average results and we will take a conclusion from there. The good thing to note is that the benchmark is perfectly runnable and it does detect the correct hardware on Wine now, which previously it didn't. It would register my CPU wrongly, but now it registers it correctly, which is an improvement. It still has leaps and bounds though to go before we reach native Windows performance, if ever. So this is the average frames per second that we get at the end. Windows has 393 frames per second on average versus Wine having 229 frames per second on Ubuntu. Definitely playable frame rates on both systems, but performance wise, if we were looking at it, if we were to assume that Windows frames per second is 100%, then Ubuntu with Wine is only able to provide us with 58% of that performance currently. 50% is pretty good in the past, now it's gone up to 58% from my tests but it is slowing down. I hope we will see something better than the CSMT patch soon for Wine and I hope we can reach 70 to 80 percent of the Windows performance in Wine soon. So that's it for this video. You're welcome to draw your own conclusions from it. I hope you enjoyed watching it and if you noticed any mistakes that I may, done, may have done, please comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching guys!